Hi, this is Mark with SafeDayTrading.org. We'd like to get free information on how to safely day trade the market for real, consistent profits and change your life forever. Go now to SafeDayTrading.org, sign up for the free course. Again, that's SafeDayTrading.org. If you follow the Safe Day Dot, you'll make a lot. Hey, everybody, today is 924. Boy, I've done two in a row here. Man, man. Um, what I want to talk about today first is the situation. Nothing's really changed much. Uh, a lot of stuff came out after hours. Gold is at around 1871. We thought it was going to head up to 1900 today, but didn't make it. Oil is above 40. No big deal. I think it's going to stick around there. Uh, I know of nothing going on with oil right as today in terms of OPEC or production, so not much to say there either. Um, the Dow is up 52 points. It's been moving back and forth all day. It's actually been uh, very profitable, and uh, I hope you guys had a chance to eke out some money on that. looks like uh, Apple's leading the charge back up uh, for the techs, and it should continue to gain. Um, and, you know, it's coming close to Christmas. We've got the Black Friday and all this other stuff going on. The other thing that uh, is probably driving some of this is uh, the Democrats in Congress have finally started to come out with a stimulus package. Uh, they're ready to start negotiating. So it looks like that's going to move stuff. Uh, it's going to move the, the Dow back up. Um, then there's a lot of health experts that are coming out and saying that even though they're rushing the virus um, medication, that it's still going to be safe. We'll see. Um, and they'll continue to work on it as quickly as they can. Um, I think November is out of the picture. December, early next year, possibly for a vaccine. And then everybody gets to choose if they want to take it or not. Um, so the market is, you know, kind of so-so right now. Um, in uh, the big picture, in a small picture, uh, it was very good today. A lot of activity on oil and gold and the Dow. And, uh, man, it was just a very profitable day for us day traders who used the dot. And uh, that was kind of nice. So one of the things I want to talk about today is something that I was listening to on YouTube on a, another day trader person. And uh, it's something you usually don't think about. And also, you might boo-poo to start with, but it, it really becomes a factor as you start learning how to trade and you become more successful. And that boo-pooing is the number of contracts that you play. Now, a long time ago, a mentor of mine says, uh, people, if you're not a professional trader, you know, you're one of us amateur traders. At some point, you're going to reach a uh, you're going to reach a point where the number of contracts makes you uncomfortable. Now, oh, Mark, how can you say that? I want a hundred contracts, and oh, it couldn't happen. Well, it does. And uh, here's a couple of reasons why. The first one is that you know your comfortability with losing money. You know. Let's be honest, you're going to lose money. We all lose money uh, on, a con on a trade. Sometimes, uh, you know, it's a bad call. The weather is wrong. The sun came up in the west instead of the east. You know, whatever excuse you want to use, but you're going to lose money. Now, we recommend a stop of 40 to $50, okay? But if you've got five contracts, that's now 250 bucks you're going to lose. If it goes against you, you know, are you comfortable with that? Think about it. You know, you might say, oh, yeah, okay, okay. But if I've been paper trading for a while and I started trading one contract or two contracts, uh, you know, and then I start thinking about it, and uh, 250 bucks is a lot of money to give away. Even $100, which is two contracts, you know, on a $50 stop, it is kind of hard to eat especially when you're in a losing streak you know when you have three trades that have all gone against you you know that's three hundred dollars right there to crack 
um, you know, granted you're going to be making money and all that stuff, but, you know, you have to come and start. It, it's an emotional thing, just like everything else in trading. Greed and fear, you know. Um, yeah, I'm greedy because I want to make the money, and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, it goes against me for some reason, and I lose, you know, I've got two contracts, I lose 100 bucks. Whoa. Uh, you know, it's starting back to rethink that. Um, you know, and I, you know, we talk about having a success rate of, you know, 80 to 83 to 80 to 83 percent, but the, you know, you've got that other 20 to 17 percent that you could lose. Now, if you have five contracts, you could lose 250 bucks. Okay, and, and it's not so much. You know, you got to recognize that it's not a money. It's not a logical thing that's going to happen to you. It's going to be an emotional thing that's going to happen to you. At some point, you're going to have too many contracts you don't feel comfortable with, and especially if you jump up, if you go from one contract to three contracts to five contracts, it's going to be a difficult mental state to get used to. Now, fortunately, what I do is I started at one contract and then then I started at two, then I moved to two. I, I, I progressed up, and uh, I was pretty careful about it. Like you say, um, I made sure that I was getting uh, very, very accurate and perfect trades as much as I could, but guess what? I still lost mo some money. You know, something went against me. All of a sudden, somebody reports that, uh, you know, something happens and all kinds of stuff like that. So... Think about your comfortability with the number of contracts. It's much different playing options and stocks with that comfortability than it is with uh, commodities because things happen so much faster. Um, you know, and there I know people that you know trade a hundred contracts and they're they're okay with it. They're fearless, but uh, for us old guys. Um, you know, there gets a point where you're just not comfortable and willing to to lose that money, and uh, you know, you, you may have a change of heart. And uh, you know, and I've talked to a lot of, uh, and, and that's part of the other issue here too. Is you've got usually if you're in your 20s and 30s, you're pretty much fearless with your trading because you know you're going to be able to make it back. But when you're in your 50s and 60s in your trading, you're a lot more uh, careful, you know, that fear is sitting there with you. You know, I, I don't have much time to make it up when I'm 20 years old. You know, I'll call mom and dad, and have me send, send me some more money, and I'll restart the account. Things like that will happen. So, uh, and it's kind of a contradictory t discussion because, you know, if you're successful and everything, hey, you know, I don't care how many contracts I trade. Uh, you know, as long as I'm 80% accurate, the, the numbers work out real well. Um, but it's not a numbers thing. It's something that emotionally hits you. And I just want to let you know um, that that happens. I, I have talked to other traders and other people that teach um, day trading. And they, you know, I, I asked that question and, you know, it's... Uh, you know, everybody says, well, you know, our system really works well and everything. But at some point, some of these people get fearful in terms of trading the number of contracts. I'm just trying to give you a heads up on this, something you can you can battle over for sure. Uh, just by like everything else, just by training, um, you know, yourself. I mean, if you're at one contract and you're feeling really comfortable with it, you know, then paper trade two contracts or you're at three contracts and you're feeling really comfortable with it. You know, a $50 loss on three contracts is 150 bucks. Uh, I'm okay because I've been making a lot of money and, you know, I understand that there's a risk reward there. Uh, but at some point, and some, some people may be 10 contracts, uh, certainly uh, there could be, you know, you, again, you could go up to as high as you want. But you also have to remember, too, as you're trading these contracts, you have to really start looking at the volume. You know, in natural gas, if there's 14 contracts, you got a perfect trade, but there's only 14 contracts sold, uh, or, you know, in that minute, 
Um, you're not going to be able to play five. You know, you're going to have to drop it down to one. Um, that's kind of why we look at uh, the oil and gold because gold has a much, uh, much more contracts to trade. And so five or ten contracts to trade is, is not that big of an issue. It has no market effect, and that's the real issue you've got to think about. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you as a point of uh, for you to think about. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, I want to mention, too, that we have a YouTube site called Safe Day Trading, which we show you trades that we make with the techniques that we use. You can also send me uh, questions that you might have at mark at safedaytrading.org. Anyway, talk to you later.